this video, I'm going to be sharing all the fun things you can do at the Strawberry Field in Carlsbad. What's up, Explorers? I'm Chelsea, and you're watching my channel, Chelsea Explorers, and today we are exploring the Carlsbad Strawberry Field. So let's go. We are here at the Carlsbad Strawberry Company. This is located right off the freeway in Carlsbad next to the flower fields. If you haven't watched my flower fields video, you can watch it right here with all the information you need. But today we're talking about strawberries. The Carlsbad Strawberry Company is a family owned business and has been around for many generations. So strawberry season goes from February to July, but also is dependent on weather. So the strawberries may be good and not good at the beginning and end of the season. When you arrive at these strawberry fields, there is plenty of parking as it is a dirt parking lot. So if it does rain the night before, be prepared for it to be muddy. Now this is a great spot to come with your kids or with your friends or a little girls day. It is mostly stroller friendly and wheelchair friendly. The only part that is not friendly to strollers or wheelchairs is the actual rows of strawberry picking. However, they can go on the outer perimeter of the strawberry fields in order to pick some. The whole area is is dirt though, so do be warned that your stroller or wheelchair will probably get dirty while out there. Upon arrival, cash, card, and checks are accepted for this experience. Once you park, head to the stands and purchase your tickets. It is $5 for general admission, and this gets you access to the sunflower maze, photo opportunities, the shaded area with tons of seating, free games, and hay pyramids. Children under the age of five are free. However, if you want to partake in the main activity of strawberry picking, then you will need to pay an additional $12 on top of that $5 at general admission to make a total of $17 for your experience at the Carlsbad Strawberry Fields. Now there are so many other activities here that you can partake in, especially on the weekends. I would personally recommend staying here at least two hours if you are visiting on a weekday. On a weekend, you might want to spend even longer, maybe enjoy some lunch out here, have a little picnic, enjoy some games and some time with friends on a nice sunny San Diego day. The main activity of course is strawberry picking. They do supply the bucket for you. You are not allowed to bring your own bucket. It holds up to two pounds of strawberries and this year they actually provided little scissors for you to cut the strawberries instead of pulling them. Other activities include the sunflower maze which is fun for both kids and adults or it's that perfect Instagram photo spot. The Sunflower Maze does come with that general admission. Now there's also a tractor ride, however that does cost extra. It is $7 for children ages 6 to 12 and $10 for anyone age 13 and up. You'll also find other fun games around the area like a large tic-tac-toe, cornhole, a ring toss, and then huge big photo mural spots that you can take pictures in. On the weekends it does get a lot busier here. I came on a weekday and it was quite quiet. However, on weekends, more vendors come. There'll be food stands out like Aloha shaped ice cream, a coffee stand, and even fun bounce houses. There's tons and tons of seating here. I imagine it gets pretty busy here on the weekends, but we just um, spent some time feeding Landon a little bottle well here, and it's the perfect little spot to sit. Most importantly though, there's bathrooms. There are porta potties. They were, they were fairly clean, and they had a hand washing station outside them as well as hand sanitizing stations all around the area. Now let's end with some fun facts. Did you know that California produces 75% of strawberry crops in the US? Strawberries are the first fruit to ripen each spring. Each acre of land produces 21 tons of strawberries per year. That is equivalent to seven elephants. And lastly, did you know that strawberries are a member of the Rose family? So don't forget to stop and smell the roses, I mean strawberries, along the way. All right, Explorers, I hope you enjoyed that review of the Carlsbad Strawberry Company, and we will see you again next week for another episode exploring on Chelsea Explores. Bye! We say we love.